genetically altering mice to mimic the problem has created bowel disorders, not lung disease. So, despite the promises, no miracle cures are in sight. The only way we're going to cure the diseases that plague mankind is through human-based research or technology. The animal experiments are totally irrelevant because the species differences between different animals are so vast in every field that you cannot apply the results from one species to another. You cannot apply the results on a mouse to a rat or vice versa. You cannot apply the results on one type of mouse to another type of mouse. And you certainly cannot apply those results from a mouse to a human being. Using animals as, as models for human beings in research and in safety testing and in drug development has meant that we have sometimes got the wrong answers that there are medicines that might have been useful in people but were poisonous to animals and so they weren't developed. I think it means that toxic chemicals have been used because they appeared safe in animals but weren't for humans. And I think it's delayed medical progress. Animal experiments are not predictive for what will occur in human beings. There is no one animal or combination of animals that gives you the right result a majority of the time. You might as well flip a coin. So why do they still do it if it doesn't work? Generations of students have been taught it's a good thing. Experimenting on animals and publishing the results is the way scientists build their careers. Now the whole thing is like a huge juggernaut, extremely difficult to stop. One of the main reasons for vivisection is money. A huge industry of researchers, cage manufacturers, animal suppliers, feed producers and instrument makers profit from it. Pharmaceutical companies do it because it's the easiest way to get approval from regulators for new products. And they do it because there are huge profits to be made from drugs. They've built fortunes on animal experiments. Why would they want to change? There are over 18,000 medicines on the market. When one company produces a successful drug, other companies try to copy it. It's got nothing to do with need. Instead of killer diseases such as cancer disappearing, they're increasing. Something's wrong. If you're a senior scientist and you've spent your life your professional life putting electrodes in animals brains and somebody like me comes along and says now I want you to stop doing that and learn all about brain scanning and study human beings well that person is going to say but hang on a minute I'm an expert in what I do you're asking me to go back to the classroom there's a whole movement to keep animal experimenting alive I think because there are a lot of livings that depend on that for a start there are a lot of academic careers that depend on it there's a lot of vested interest in terms of direction that people have promoted animal experiments and to try to say now that that might be wrong would be a very painful decision to make the drug companies obviously are there to make money and to make money they have to introduce new drugs universities pharmaceutical companies drug suppliers People who sell the actual mice and rats and dogs to the laboratories, many, many people profit from animal experimentation. Major medical advances have come about through studying people, not animals. Sewerage, clean water and decent housing transformed Britain and did more to lower death rates than all the drugs and vaccines put together. It was done by studying how people lived and improving their living conditions. It's called epidemiology. That's how the link between smoking and cancer was established, by studying smokers, not forcing animals to inhale tobacco smoke. Our knowledge of heart disease, cancer, and AIDS 
also came from studying people's lives. We didn't need animal experiments to tell us that environmental pollution causes ill health. Most big killer diseases can be prevented, but the search for cures soaks up almost all the available money. Only a tiny fraction is spent on prevention. Another important way of learning about disease is to study patients who were ill and under treatment. These are called clinical studies. Computer models can replace dissection in schools and universities. We are made up of cells, and testing a few of them can often show how our whole body might react. Human cancer cells are increasingly being used for cancer research in preference to mice. Using healthy volunteers in what's called drug trials gives valuable results on the effects of those drugs. Carrying out research on dead bodies also provides important information. When the researchers have been made to look for alternatives to animals, they found them. The ultimate defense of vivisection is that they have to test their products on a whole body. We agree. The problem is, they've chosen the wrong body. Some scientists say you can't study a whole body in a test tube, therefore we will always need animal experiments. My response to that is, no, you can't study a whole animal in a test tube, but if you combine test tube experiments with computer modelling, which could scale up those results to the living organism, and you do safe and ethical studies in human beings who are whole bodies, then I believe by a combination of approaches we will be able to replace animal experiments. Drugs, medicine, surgery can do so much. They can help to pick up the pieces, they may prolong life a little. But the most important area is that of prevention. And in prevention, animals do not help us. We must look at the human situation, the human diet, the human way of life. Since I was registered as blind in the middle of the 70s, I've never been asked to take part in any research project. My condition has never been monitored. And it seems incredible to me that people with illnesses and disabilities are just a wasted resource in science. I don't think I would lose anything as a vet if animal experiments stopped tomorrow. Um, I would be personally very comforted. I would feel much more comfortable about what our human race is doing to animals. But I don't think I would suffer as a vet if it stopped. When I see people with disabilities being used to promote vivisection, it makes me very sad. Animal research has been conducted looking into the causes of my condition, RP, for over 70 years now, the first experiments taking place in the 1930s. And here I am in 2000, still waiting for the promised cure. From a scientific perspective, animal experimentation simply does not work. Animal experimentation does not help human beings who are sick get better. Animal experimentation does not help prevent disease or cure disease. The life of an animal is just as important to it as your life is to you. It doesn't want to be caged, hurt and killed any more than you do. It isn't a choice between animals and people. It's a choice between good science and pointless cruelty.